Hello YouTubers, hello world, Mr B here once again. Um, it's been a couple of days since my last post. Um, basically, term started and I've been rather busy, so apologies to you wonderful people of the World Wide Web who've been uh, waiting and anticipating the next video. Um, I've been fielding today a lot of questions from concerned A-level students regarding what I could describe as um, appropriate uh, choices of text for their DA3 exam. So this is for year 13 students uh, currently looking at different choices for your um, text part of your practical DA3 exam. Now the rule is that it has to be a published play and um, so you can't just pick any old kind of crazy rubbish um, that you found off the internet and there is a fair amount of um, rubbish on the internet so just be careful about just going to those websites that claim to have everything that you could possibly ever want and if all you got to do is just kind of sift through their their collection and anthology of online kind of plays um, and we're looking for published good quality text ones that are recognizably kind of you know published uh, so there's the first little hint and tip that I'd give you um, the next thing is I'm going to be relying very much on the links that are going to be below this video uh, today uh, for you to follow and to have a look and do a bit of research um, I'm not going to be bigging up like Amazon as a, as a company too much but I do think Amazon are a very an, an excellent source, in fact, uh, for plays of all descriptions, and uh, really, Amazon and eBay, probably Amazon in the first instance, should be your main kind of port of call if you are looking for a specific play text. Um, here's a couple of um, I've made a list. Uh, here's a couple of like names that you may not have heard of that I'd like you to do a bit of research on. These are all playwrights from the last sort of like ten to twenty years. So, you know, if you take that from the history of theatre, then they are considered to be incredibly uh, modern and often some of the feedback and the views that I've been reading about these plays very relevant for young people. Um, the playwrights I would like you to have a look at are Laura Wade, uh, Abby Morgan, Lucy Preble, that's Lucy Preble, and Duncan Macmillan, and my own personal favourite, uh, Phil Porter. Um, all of these um, have published um, very recently, in some cases incredibly recently, good plays, and these are plays that uh, have kind of passed the test for A-level students, and I, I base this claim on um, information that I've gleaned from the internet. Uh, I think that with regards to researching plays, the internet is most definitely your friend. And, uh, Amazon specifically uh, were for research so anything that pops up in the suggested reading titles the bar the banner that comes across your Amazon page uh, will often have similar things that you might want to then do a bit of extra research on um, I guess you know what you're looking for depends on quite a few things specifically uh, your own strengths as an actor the kind of style that you want to work in um, you've got to remember that it has to be two contrasting styles from your scripted to your device so that's something else to consider as well and then often and every drama teacher that watches this will probably agree, uh, a real challenge for all drama students uh, in this situation is finding uh, a piece that it can be edited and kind of cut together to get the right amount of time out. Obviously, if, you, you know, if you're doing the Welsh board exam, then it's five minutes per candidate. I think the smallest group that we've got currently in year 13 is a group of two. So you need to find a play that is gonna fill 10 minutes um, equally I guess um, um, between the you know the, the group um, and that's very hard that's a challenge in itself so uh, the only real thing you can do is especially if you're working in a slightly larger group is um, do your research do your research properly um, try and discount as many of those uh, choices as that I've kind of given you um, today and um, you know, maybe buy a few of these copies. You can get very cheap offers through Amazon and you can also, you know, worst case scenario, you, it turns out to be something that's not appropriate. If you're one of my students, then I may well buy the uh, copy off you secondhand and I'll give you a very, very good price. Uh, so there you go, there's some sort of banging top tips for uh, A-level students, especially those of, you, those of you that are looking at uh, DA3 choices. Uh, yeah, follow the links, remember to subscribe and follow the conversation on Twitter. I'll see you next time.